Pakistan NS resigns amid turmoil. Supreme Court to hear no first vote appeal. Pakistan Supreme Court will continue hearing on Tuesday the opposition's appeal against the dismissal of the non dust vote vote against Prime Minister Imran Khan and the subsequent dissolution of the parliament. If Khan gets a favorable ruling, election will take place within 90 days if the court rules against the deputy speaker, parliament will reconvene and hold the no confidence vote against the embattled Prime Minister Expert said. Even as the matter is pending in court, Imran Khan has nominated a caretaker prime minister who will lead the government till fresh elections are held. Khan, however, will continue as prime minister till a caretaker PM is appointed. On Monday, while learning the case, the Chief Justice rejected the opposition's plea for a full bench. Pakistan's former Chief Justice Gulzar Ahmed was nominated for the office of the caretaker prime minister by Imran Khan. The U.S. State Department's focus in Nick Price said the countries are both peaceful upholding of the constitutional and democratic principles in Pakistan, which is engulfed in political turmoil. Amid the ongoing political and constitutional crisis in Pakistan, its National Security Advisor Mohit Yusuf resigned on Monday. On Sunday, April 3, Imran Khan survived the opposition acting to house fleeing from power after a no-confidence motion against him was rejected by the National Absentee Deputy Speaker, who claimed it was a foreign conspiracy. Ukraine's Hachiko Dog refuses to leave side of the UNESCO DEP. In an evocative photograph posted by the next uh, media organization, a dog can be seen by the site of his owner's course in Kiev, region of Ukraine. According to Eastern European media organization Nexta, the man was killed by the Russian forces and his dog had refused to leave his body site thereafter. The photograph is reminiscent of the story of a chief of Japanese dog who waited for his owner over nine years after his death in the 1930s. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24 and has been launching strikes across the country ever since. Russia announced last week that it would retreat from regions around the capital Kiev and focus on the eastern parts of the Ukraine. In the wake of the Russian forces victory, they have laid behind the trail of devastation. In Ukraine, Bucha several bodies lay strewn around the town, triggering global condemnation. Ukraine has accused Russia of committing war crimes while Russia was denied the allegations. Thank you.